um, to get text messages from a bunch of people just being like, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Or there's the people that even were like, oh, what happened? And so I would just copy and paste a link because there's a lot of articles online and I would copy and paste that and I would just send that and I would, that's all I would say. And um, there was also all these people that would say, um, like anything you need. And I'm like, oh, like, I don't know. I like to test people and their truth. <laughs> and because um, I don't like when people fake it and I'm a very blunt human being. And so when everybody was like, oh, like, I'll be there for you. And so I was like, one time we were just cleaning in our house and somebody asked. And so I was like, oh, like, tell her, like, tell her we're cleaning and see, like, I knew they weren't gonna say like, oh, I'm gonna come and help you clean your house. <laughs> and so it happened, they didn't say anything for like six hours. And then I was like, see, like people don't mean it. And I don't like the insincerity because if you just don't care and you don't wanna help, just don't text me. And I probably won't even know because I don't look at my phone yeah. <laughs> or see people's phone numbers. Yeah. And so um, that really hurt, but I don't know, I'm used to people kind of being that because they just don't know what to say or they always try to compare like your deaths and they'll be like, oh, I lost a grandparent. I'm like, oh, well, I lost all of mine. So we're going to go with this conversation. Yeah, yeah. And so it hurt, but um, I still ran track. I still like ran my track season. I cried my eyes out after every race, um, but my track team really supported me and it wasn't like hovering because I don't like being like hovered mm. and like I don't know. We could write a book like on it. what to say, what not to say. I've got a book in my library that says, don't ask for the dead man's golf clubs. <laughs> you know, and all the stupid things people say after yes. a loss. And, and again, people do that because they don't know what to say. No. They're awkward. They, they feel they, they feel uncomfortable. They don't want to make you cry. And yet you're going to cry. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Uh, but I it, mean, I think the, the problem is they don't have to say anything. Exactly. Um, Bailey said it at the memorial. She said, just show up. Just show up. And if you are willing, most people will say, well, what do you need? I don't know what I need. Yeah. And there was one moment where I thought, I know what I need. And I called one of our friends and I said, I need a massage. Mm. 